It's the moment we have all been waiting for, and we are so excited to finally find out who will be crowned world champions. Welcome to the 2019 Cheerleading and Dance World Championships. Linz and I are here to bring you highlights, results, and news straight from the mat. And to kick us off, let's talk about what's new in 2019. Well, we have so many new divisions to add to your watch list, including the International Global and International Non-Tumbling Division. And then, of course, we have the always crowd favorite, Senior Large All-Girl and Senior Large Co-Ed Divisions, which are sure to be some steep competition this year and we're so excited to watch. And over in the dance world, we've got the new kick division. So we caught up with the Energizers before Worlds to see what they're doing to train up for that new open kick division. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, that was good. So I'm Kaylee Ojala. Um, I'm on the open kick team. I am really excited to compete in the open kick division for the first time this year. So they don't get to leave anywhere. So they're from your back and they go immediately out. It's brand new this year, obviously. And I think it'll be really interesting to see all the different teams there and see how their interpretation of kick is and really compare it to how we do it in not even just the United States, but in Wisconsin itself as well. Our theme this year is living on a prayer, um, and it certainly tells our girls that we can get through anything as long as we stick together. Both Brandon All-Star Senior Black and the California All-Star Smoet have been the only two teams to take the top spot in that division in an eight-year stretch. But after scoring a 99.5 at NCAA All-Star Nationals, Prodigy Midnight might just have something to say about that. We scored a 99.5, I did not think it was real. I had to look at the score sheet maybe four or five times where I actually believed it. I still actually don't believe it that they thought we were that amazing, but I want to be able to prove to them that we can be. One more thing before they take the mat of the World Championships, I would just say, have fun and put on a show. If you're at the competition this week, USASF is hosting daily social media challenges. So make sure you follow USASF Cheer and USASF Dance on social media. And don't forget to use the hashtag, this is all stars. And even more fun things to look forward to, the USASF is releasing team scores this year. So you can follow those along with results on flowcheer.com. Good luck out there. We'll see you on the floor. Thank you.